If you're looking for a fun weekend activity either this weekend or next or in the spring, head up to White Horse Winery up in Monticello. Named for Molly, the white horse that came with the property when purchased, White Horse Winery opened in 2006. And I made the question, I said, do you think you could do better making that wine? He said yes, and after that statement was made, we jumped in the wine business for feet first. In order to make wine, first the grapes need to be harvested from the vine. Then it moves through this combine machine that crushes the grape. There's several varieties. There's Steuben, there's uh, Catawba, there's a Traminet, which is Indiana State grape, and uh, Foch, and there's a handful of other grapes that we grow in Indiana. For a white wine, the grapes are separated from the skins, seeds, and solids. For a red wine, the grapes are left with their skins to enhance the flavor and color. The next step is to move the grapes into the fermentation process. Fermentation takes approximately two weeks. For a dry wine, all the sugars are converted into alcohol. For a sweet wine, the process is stopped early. The fourth step is clarification and blending, which is a natural way to filter wine. Then, the final process, prior to bottling, is aging. Aging can be done in either oak barrels, steel tanks, or bottles. White Horse produces 20 different wines. There's reds, whites, and a few in between. And there's a wine club. You can pick by your palate, dry club, sweet club, or the whole menu if you want to be brave and daring and expose yourself to all kinds of different wines. And you can be monthly, two bottles a month, or quarterly, four bottles in uh, January, April, July, and October. White Horse is hosting a winemaker's tables and storytellers event on Saturday, February 13th. We are going to have two of the storytellers from Tippecanoe County come. Reporting for Fast Track, I'm Alita Donnelly.